Something I've done for the last nine months, which I haven't done most of my 10 year lifting in my basement career, if that's a real thing, is that I've added in warm ups and stretches and I do them every single time I'm in the gym, which is my basement again, sorry. Um, doing them every single time. Warm up, in my opinion, is just as important as your actual workout. It's probably actually more important I do a lot of movements for uh, parts of my body that don't, that are kind of maybe lagging behind or don't get a lot of direct work in a full body program, like lower traps, rotator cuff, uh, tibialis anterior, and then just some stretches. Some simple hamstring, quad, spine, hip flexor, glute stretches. And I'm just holding them for five deep breaths in and out. I'm not holding them for a long time. And just doing this over the last nine months has slowly but surely made me feel better. So I want to make this video. In between my warm-ups, I, I got to thinking of the saying like, oh, does a lion stretch before it, it kills a gazelle or a impala or whatever the hell animal it's killing that day? And the answer, I'm not sure, I'm not a wildlife expert, but I don't really think they do. People kind of spew this off as like you shouldn't be stretching. Then people talk about the performance degrading aspects of stretching, which if you look into the studies, it's really, if you stretch five seconds before a maximum vertical jump, your jump isn't as good. But after a couple minutes that wears off and your jump is just as good as it was before. So stretching really doesn't impact your performance unless you're stretching right before a max effort. And it definitely makes you feel better. So in between my workout, I've been writing some stuff down about what lions don't do. So why people should stretch and why lions don't stretch before they kill whatever random African prey animal they're hunting that day is false. First off, do, my writing is terrible by the way. Do lions work at a desk? Absolutely not. Desk work is bad for your spine, for your hips, for your knees. You're always sitting in like a 90 degree knee bend, 90 degree hip bend, and you're probably hunched over at the thoracic spine. And you're probably have a forward neck posture too. All those things are bad for mobility. Lions do not do any of those. Second up, shallow mouth breathe. Do lions shallow mouth breathe? Again, I'm not an animal expert, but I don't think so. Probably not. I'm sure they're breathing through their nose at least most of the time. Do lions always walk on 100% flat ground like carpet, wood flooring, concrete, etc.? No, they absolutely do not. The African savanna is varied. There's hills, there's bumps, there's prairie dog holes or whatever, meerkat holes. I don't know exactly what kind of holes there are. Sticks and stuff laying around, rocks, whatever. They're not walking on flat ground. There's inclines, there's declines. There's lots of stuff. They're not just walking on flat ground, which flat ground is not good for your ankle mobility or your foot mobility because your foot joint is never having to articulate. It's always walking on flat ground. And I'm gonna skip ahead here because this one kind of goes hand in hand with flat ground. Do lions wear shoes or clothes? No, they do not. Lions don't wear shoes. Their paws are constantly on the ground moving around, adjusting. They're getting all that feedback from their brain. Like, hey, hey, there's a hill here. There's a rock there. There's a poisonous snake there. There's a meerkat burrow there. Don't walk into that stuff. And they don't wear clothes either. Clothes are restrictive. I don't know if you guys have ever wore a pair of jeans and you try to bend down into a full squat to get something and you rip the chode hole out. I've done that before to one of my favorite pairs of jeans. And now I turn them into Daisy Dukes to scare my girlfriend. Only I think she liked it. So moving right along to the next one. Do lions drive cars to get around? No, they do not. Lions walk everywhere. And like I said, they walk on varied terrain. They walk on uneven ground. They're getting a lot of movement in day to day. And that also goes with the next one. Do they have a sedentary lifestyle? No, they do not. Granted, they lay around a lot, but you would probably have to do a lot of relaxing if you're trying to take down a 1,000 pound Cape Buffalo as well. That's not easy work. So they have to lay around. Plus they're out there just conserving energy. They're not like us where 
in the next meal is a walk to the fridge or ordering Uber Eats on your phone, their next meal is more than likely gonna try to kill them back. They're getting kicked in the face with hooves from giraffes and it is not easy to get food when you're a lion. So they do not have a sedentary lifestyle despite all their lounging around. Next up, do lions sit on toilets? No, they do not. Look, sitting on toilets, just like sitting in your office chair, is not good for you because you're not getting into a full squat. Once again, you're at that 90 degree knee bend, 90 degree hips, probably leaning over, probably on your phone, checking your Amazon wish list and seeing if you should order anything, see if any price drops happen. Lions are not doing that. Lions are doing a full squat to defecate out on the African savanna. So, no, lions do not sit on toilets. And last but not least, do lions sleep on memory foam mattresses? No, they do not. Lions sleep on the ground, sleep on a firm surface, and if you're sleeping on a firm surface, you need to relax your body. You need to let go of all the tension and just kind of let everything loose so you're nice and comfortable on a hard ground. If you're tight, if you have tight muscles or bad posture, bad mobility, and let's, let's actually lie on the ground for this one. If you're lying on the ground here, and let's say your oblique is maybe tight here, or your back muscles are tight, your shoulders are tight, everything's tight, you're not, you're not gonna be in a comfortable position unless you're laying on something like a memory foam, where a lion is laying on flat, hard ground, but they're all loose. Everything's loose, so they're just relaxed here, and everything's just kind of relaxing and compressing down, and they've been doing that their whole lives. They're not used to memory foam mattresses. They weren't raised in a crib. They were raised out in the wild, and actually, I don't know if they were raised, whatever. They grew up in the wild, so they're not used to memory foam. They're relaxing. They're sleeping out there, so long way to get my point across is that you are not a lion and you should be stretching especially if you do all of those things i have listed up there you definitely should be stretching you're going to feel better you're going to perform better and stretch please